in life, we happen to have the good, the bad, and the ugly. Sadly, Celine and Afiba happen to find themselves in the ugly side of life because, as you all might know, and for those that don't know this particular story, Afiba and Celine were invited by a popular rich man in Aba, Abia State to be precise, namely Andrew Ochekwo. He happens to flaunt his lifestyle, this very rich, um, pompous lifestyle, showing off riches and everything. He was able to lure these girls to Abia State. Andrew Ucheko flew Afiba and Selin from River State to Aba, Abia to be precise. He promised to give them a million naira, 500,000 naira each, if they come spend the weekend with him. And that, to, to their greatest surprise, it was bad luck. That's why I said they meant the ugly. So, um, with all this being said, my name is The Ugly, as you might already know. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is The Ugly, and I'm happy to have you here. So moving on to our main context of today, he flew these people in with the idea of giving them 500,000 naira each to spend the weekend with him. And up until this day, their body has not been found. Although there were videos surfacing that they found some body parts not far, very far from his house. They, they have not been able to identify whose body it is. And then it is said that he has been doing this particular thing for a long time. He comes on the internet, flaunts his riches and everything, lures girls into his home, kills them, bullies them, beats them. You know, I mean, and all that. So um, before I move further, I want to advise you women to be careful. Don't be too... You know, don't fall into the traps of flashiness and all that. It's not all that glitters is gold. For the woman, because I mentioned that one of the women were married. I think it's Afiba. Afiba happens to be married, but I'm very sure her husband was not aware of her whereabouts on this particular occasion before she met the hula balu she experienced. So, I mean, like I said, not all, not all that glitters is gold. So, we need to take a chill pill and what would have happened if this didn't go out the way it did like what what would have happened if she didn't meet the ugly side of life she probably have taken this money home without no explanations to the husband and how many more of this is going on out there in the life of today so we need to be very careful for the women and be watchful too don't get carried away by the flashiness or the flashy lifestyle that people post on the internet it could be fake and for the men please your your tastes and desires to enrich yourself shouldn't get you to the point where you have to harm somebody else or use somebody else for money rituals or whatnot so it's it's later expanded that he's an organ investor and he lures these girls into his house shows them fancy lifestyles takes them to restaurants and all and later kills them sell their body parts to an unknown source because we don't know who he buys these body organs but then there's also a stereotype that he might have been selling these organs to the, the highest and mighties like the known names and popular people we know so this particular man did this without remorse and who knows how many other people have not been seen or heard or talked about because this particular story just surfaced because of the the two girls that was missing and how it was able to come out to limelight because a lot of other stories have not been put out to limelight. A lot of this happens in our everyday life, so we need to be very careful. Moving on, this said man, Andrew Cheko, has been killed. Could it be, in my own opinion, that is the people, the organ harvesters, people that buy the organs he harvests, that killed him? Or what could have, because the police posted it that he was murdered, and the good news is, I'm happy for this particular instance because that the IGP others, they probe as a man linked to the disappearance of the two ladies, Afiba and Selene, that dies. The Inspector General of Police, Kai Ode has directly directed a probe by his monitoring unit into the death of the businessman, Andrew Ochoko, because, I mean, all of a sudden he died. Nobody to give us why he died, how he died, what killed him, was he murdered? I mean, we need all this information, so I'm happy. That's one of the things I'm happy about. Moving on, the Eagle Online recalls that the businessman became a focus of the news over the disappearance of the two ladies. So we've been giving you back-to-back -back headlines on this particular story, and with this, we just wanted to like keep you updated on what's going on on this particular story. Moving on, so the General of Police has probed the Assistant General of Police 
to give a report of how the them Andrew Ocheko was killed. They need a well assigned information of his whereabouts, his dead body and everything. The deceased man, Charles Ocheko, Andrew Ocheko. Ajay Jobi, an assistant commissioner of police, said the IGP has mandated the monitoring unit to complete the investigation in two weeks and present a report. He said, Inspector General of Police IDP Kayo De- Adeolu Igbetokun has directed the monitoring unit to conduct a thorough and high-powered investigation into suspected murder of an Andrew Ocheko. So from what I get in this, the General of Police has probed the Assistant Commissioner of Police to get him vital information as to the death of Andrew Ocheko and the mandate for this information is two weeks and it needs to be delivered in two weeks. The General Commissioner of Police has assured the general public that they are taking all drastic measures to get to the bottom of this particular matter. So I would advise us, the general public, to give them room to do their jobs. So on this note, I'll be putting this particular video of trending videos to an end. I would keep you posted on any other video that surfaces or any other information that surfaces. Best know I am here to deliver every information to you. I remain your favorite host, The Ugly. Until next time, see you. Bye.